Welcome to another video in Travel Small Live Big's A Few Faves series where we share a few favorites of a certain genre, be it California Lake Campgrounds, Oregon Coast Campgrounds, and in this video, Favorite Cascade Lakes Highway Campgrounds. This incredibly beautiful road is also known as the Cascade Lakes Scenic Byway. It leads west out of Bend up to Mount Bachelor then takes a left turn towards Highway 58. It takes you through the Deschutes National Forest and along 14 lakes, I believe. Some are a bit off the highway. Sparks Lake, Devil's Lake, Elk Lake, Hosmer Lake, Lava Lakes, Cultus Lake, Crane Prairie Reservoir, and drops you off near Odell Lake and Crescent Lake. The road is 66 miles of views and beauty. We, of course, have never had enough time to fully explore all of these lakes, but have, on a few different occasions, visited a few. And I'm sure you will have many other suggestions for us. Those can be left in the comments below. On this list, we'll take you from north to south. Lava lakes, yes, lakes plural, Lava Lake and Little Lava Lake, and both offer campgrounds. The lakes sit at 4,750 feet in elevation and offer a beautiful view of Mount Bachelor and the Three Sisters. Let's start at Lava Lake. The campground has 44 sites to choose from, all dry camping, and can accommodate tents and RVs up to 40 feet. Sites can be reserved at recreation.gov, and in 2021, the sites are listed at $17.30 a night. Not sure about the 30 cents, but okay. The campground has vault toilets, garbage service, and drinking water, and the sites have the usual picnic table and fire rings. At the smaller Little Lava Lake, there are 15 sites to choose from, Pretty much the same amenities. Little Lava Lake does have sights along the river, which we really liked. Being in the Cascades, these two campgrounds are seasonal, generally open mid-April, May sometime to late October, weather permitting of course. Now, head a little further south and take the turn off west to Cultus Lake. This campground is set on the east side of the lake, so offers a different view. Still stunning. The campground offers 55 dry camping sites for tents and RVs up to 36 feet. Typical Oregon campground, vault toilets, garbage service, and drinking water. The sites have the standard picnic table and fire rings, and some of these sites, including the one we had, are huge. Perfect for families or people with pets. These sites are also reservable through recreation.gov, and in 2021, the sites were listed at $20.95 a night. This is another seasonal campground, open oh, mid-April through late September. Of course, the open season is subject to change and weather. And speaking of weather, we had weather here. There's so much hail coming inside right now. And now I'm going to cheat and include Sunset Cove at Odell Lake. Odell Lake offers several different campgrounds, Trapper Creek, Shelter Cove Resort, Odell Creek, which by the way is way more suitable for small campers or tents, Princess Creek, and Sunset Cove. 
We timed our visit to Sunset Cove, oh gosh, just by luck, and had the entire campground to ourselves, with the exception of the camp host and their immediate neighbor, who I think were friends of the host. Sunset Cove offers 20 sites for tents or RVs up to 40 feet, the usual picnic tables, fire rings, vault toilets, garbage service, and drinking water. Another seasonal campground, another one reservable at recreation.gov, and in 2021, the sites were just under $15 a night. There are many other campgrounds along this incredibly scenic drive, literally loads of options. If you're looking for kayaking, motorboating, fishing, or just chilling, this section of Oregon is one not to miss. So hey, let us know your favorite campground along this stretch of the road in the comments below and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button for more videos in this series. And as always, thanks for watching.